Hello everyone, this video is about modeling frictions. So, um, when the object is moving, the direction of the friction is just the opposite direction of the velocity. When the object is stationary, to find the direction of the friction, just imagine where would the object move if there is no friction. And use the opposite direction. And there's a maximum value, we have this formula f equals mu r and r is the normal reaction mu is the coefficient of friction so here we have um, a person is trying to push a 2 kg box horizontally on a rough floor coefficient 0.3 increases is pushing force gradually from 0 to 10 so we have a person trying to push the box first of all the weight is 20 because m times g the reaction force is also 20 because of the sigma f in vertical direction is 0 r equals w and uh, the maximum possible friction is mu times r which is 0.3 times 20 which is 6 so when the pushing force is 1 the friction force is 1 so it's just trying to balance the pushing force so that the object is not moving and when the for pushing force is 2 also 2 3 3 4 4 5 5 6 6 but when the pushing force is 7 which is bigger than the possible maximum friction the object starts to move so this is already moving here at this point here the object is just about to move here the object is already moving and we can find the acceleration because we have net force to the right we have resultant force 1 newton so we can find the acceleration so um, when a force p is exerted and the body remains stationary this means the pushing force or the total force other than friction friction is smaller than the possible maximum friction so um, when the um, f is smaller than f maximum this is when the f is equal to the p this is when the object is about to move but they are still stationary sigma f equals zero when the object object moves the friction is the maximum possible the object is accelerated we have acceleration so we, we have here inclined plane object is about to move find mu in terms of alpha so we have first of all we can split the w weight component into w cos w sine we have the normal reaction and we can set the direction axis perpendicular to the slope parallel to the slope and sigma f x is zero because it's not accelerated about to move the f wants to be equal to w sine sigma f y equals zero r equals w cos and f equals mu r you can replace the f with mu w sine replace the r with w cos cancel out w mu is there for tangent alpha and here we have the mass and so on so first of all you need to be able to draw the fbd so here let's say in the question you only get the red parts of the diagram here so you have to draw the rest you have to know that the weight is vertically downwards and you can split components like this we have w cos w sine w is 100 because of 10 times 10 and so on so um, first step is to draw the right angle triangle because the tangent is 3 over 4 you can find the hypotenuse by using Pythagoras and sine cos that's why we get 80 and 60 and since it's not accelerated in this direction r equals w cos which is 80 if we know the r we know the mu we can find the f max and since 60 is bigger than 40 so this means without friction the box will slide down the slope which means the friction must be up the slope that's how you find the friction direction up the slope and now since 60 minus 40 is 20 which is bigger than 16 this means the friction which is 16 is not strong enough to keep the object from sliding down so this means the object will be accelerated down the slope so acceleration direction is down the slope the friction magnitude is the maximum possible 16 and to find the acceleration we can use sigma fx equals ma now this a is the direction of the acceleration which is down the slope so that means the forces down the slope should be positive w sine down the slope positive P up the slope, F up the slope, negative, and after um, 
doing the algebra we get the a acceleration magnitude now what if the p is for only 44 if the p is only 44 we have we do exactly the same thing here the direction of friction is again up the slope because 60 is bigger than 44 so this means the object will slide down the slope without friction so the friction direction is up the slope and we know that 16 minus 44 is exactly 16 so this means the object is about to move down the slope so this means we have no acceleration so don't need to find the magnitude of the acceleration and the magnitude of the friction is the maximum possible in this case 16 you can also find the maximum friction or the friction using this and now we have p equals 50 so the w sign is 60 the p is 50 so we have um, friction also up the slope and now 10 is smaller than 16 so this means the friction can hold the object no problem because the friction can hold up to 16 newtons and here the difference or the net force is only 10 force due to this w sign and p so the object is stationary no acceleration the friction force is just 10 it's not 16 because it's only to balance this 60 downwards 50 upwards we need to balance it with the friction is only 10 and if the pushing force is 60 exactly 60 well in this case there is no friction at all because 60 is equal to 60 actually this is equal to all right i mean equal to okay and the object will not move at all no need to there's no friction no acceleration if the pushing force is 70 so this time the object will move up the slope without friction so the friction direction is now downwards i mean down the slope so the friction is down the slope to find the magnitude of the friction it's just 10 and to balance the 60 and 70 the friction must be 10 and there is no acceleration because the friction can hold the object here so um, friction is 10 and the magnitude of friction okay you can also find the uh, friction magnitude this way if the p is 76 so the difference is 16 the friction is still downwards down the, the slope and it is just about to move up the slope so we have no acceleration and the maximum friction is 16 and last um, case here when the p is 80 so we have 80 60 the friction is down the slope and the magnitude of the friction is just 16 that is the maximum which means we have a resultant force we have acceleration up the slope and we can calculate using sigma f equals ma all right that's it i'll see you again next time